In this video, I'm going to be using Legos to recreate that scene in Jurassic Park where the raptors eat everyone. Oh wait, that happens like five times in each movie, so I'm just going to make my own version of that scene. The first thing I did was make my own base plate with black pieces to build the block on top of. I wanted to make the build a small tropical island with some explorers fighting raptors. I also wanted to ask you guys to subscribe and like the video, so if you could take five seconds to do that, that would be extremely epic. Thank you. Then I surrounded my small black base plate I had with tan pieces for the shore of the island and then built the tan pieces up because I planned to make the entire island on an incline towards the back where I would have a rocky shore. I next took some dark tan pieces and outlined the light tan so it looked like water had been washing over it and it was more realistic. I then started on the rocky shore in the back of the island but quickly realized I would have to make this after I built the inside of the island because I didn't really know how to proportion it right. With that, I began my work on the building of the island. I transitioned from tan to green by blending them together and continued to make the ground rise. Once I was around halfway through this, I started to build the rocky shore again around the parts that I had made to get a feel about how high this area was going to go and how tall the rocks would need to be. I then finished up the hill area and focused all my attention on the rocks. The rocks look really good on both sides. I decided to build them fairly high and create a sort of wall instead of just making a sheer drop off the island because it was so short, it looked better this way. Then I finished up the dark tan lining around the light tan shore and then and this proved to be uh, pretty, pretty difficult because I was running low on that color. I think I made it look pretty good in the end though. I started working on some vegetation towards the back of the mock, which looks similar to the vegetation in my last stand of Order 66 mock that I did earlier this year. But after adding some rafters and minifigs, I decided I didn't like the way the vegetation was and I wanted to do something different. So I tore down what I did and started fresh. Then I put a bunch of palm tree leaves and lining the rocks in the back to look like bushes. And then I used those three leaved green plant thingies attached to cones and piled them on top of each other in front of the bushes, which I thought looked pretty gosh darn dope. Then I put a ton of grass pieces all over the hill and was satisfied with that, so I moved on to the trees. If you watch my channel at all, you know that I use this palm tree technique all the time because I love it. I got a 4x4 brown cylinders and attached them to each other at an angle to make them look like palm trees, and I think it works really well because they bend and they have those little divot things on the side. You know what I mean. It looks good. I hope. Then I snapped and voila, the trees had leaves. Pretty cool, huh? I bet y'all can't do that trick. It's pretty good. Then I slapped some tan tiles on the shore for detailing and got to work on the minifigure placement. I made a guy getting eaten by a raptor made about as violent as Legos can be, so you're welcome for uh, looking at that. And then I put a blue raptor in the middle of the field and positioned that sick looking guy with the sniper looking around the tree, not knowing what to do since his buddy just got eaten horribly. Uh, and then I put the other raptor running along the shore with his lunch on his mind towards those two poor innocent men. I made one running like a coward and gave the other one a shotgun and a cowboy hat and he's shooting that dang raptor. Then I decided that cowboy would be lonely in his fight against the raptor so I gave another, another minifigure an AK-47 and stuck him there to join the cause. I added one more fig looking at his bug getting eaten. Then I grabbed some pterodactyls and grabbed a bunch of studs, clear studs, and stacked them on top of each other and then put the studs on the trees of the pterodactyls at the end so it looked like they were flying over the poor guys getting eaten without a care in the world. The pterodactyls didn't have a care in the world, not the guys getting eaten. Ah, I don't know. Whichever way you want to interpret it is okay. Then I got a ton of translucent blue and clear studs and dumped them around the island to look like water. And that about wraps up this mock. Here's some sick videos of the completed build for y'all. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really fun to make. And make sure you guys like and subscribe and comment what your favorite part was. Because that really helps me and I really want to grow this channel. So thank you guys a lot. Enjoy these short videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.